No barking. Morning, man. Check out the new whip. See, they come with come with the tape already in there. Oh my god, the red looks so much better. I know, red looks so nice. They have all these red accoutrements, you know. Put the red candies on. Dude, it rides so nice. Yes. The pack that goes here. I'll get the little waterproof pack here for like a bed roll. Yeah. And then the pack on the back, and that's all you need. Oh, the big, yeah, the big one. <laughs> yeah, I think. Violet, come here. Dude, but it also takes care of the technical aspect. Yes. We can get in the car and go sit in a parking lot and get ready and stress about the race and do stuff like that. Because we did love it at the time. I mean, I loved it. I love doing that, especially right. masters racing. I mean, I didn't like racing that much as an elite level racer. I just, I wasn't, I wasn't good enough for one. Now, right. what we found with gravel is like, and we're, we're saying, why do we all just want to go to the gravel races anymore? Because it's not about winning. That's not, that's not the attraction. And it, it's basically this that we found another form right. of, of racing and riding that's even better. Even it's better. just better. It's like it's just more fun. Like I, I look forward to it. But it also fits in better with our lifestyles. For the first time, my gravel bike feels like a road a road racing bike. Right. Like I will come through a group if I'm catching them on a on a downhill and I want to get out of the saddle and, and attack. Yeah. Like I used to do on a road bike in a road race, which I've not had at all in a gravel experience. Um until this bike. I mean it really it really wants to catapult you. It's right. like, it's amazing. What were the keys to Vermont Overland success from a promoting standpoint? Like do you block do you mark the course? Do you have officials? Like how do you do it insurance wise? Like what are those key things for people who are trying to start their own that you really kinda you need to know? It's it's actually remarkably simple. I mean we we have a few basic principles. Mike, as you know, one thing I harp on all the time is the, the rule of one adventure. One adventure, one group, one ride, one distance, one adventure for everybody. Right. The other thing is, the other thing is I do use USA Cycling because they have the best insurance. So, but I don't have USA, you don't need a license. It's still an open, um, really what it is, it's a, it's a, it's a competitive Fondo. It's a time, the it's category a, it's, is the time. It's a timed Fondo is really what it is. So there right. are, we do keep track of your time. It is in that regard a race, right. but it is not an all out, you know, classic style race right. where you need officials and licenses. That's kind of like the back end. It's expensive. It's, it's like almost $3 a rider, right. but it's, it's, it covers you and it covers the promoter and it covers the riders and it's just, it's the best insurance that I can find. So we do have that and that puts the, the promoter at ease. Right. Well, there's a lot of other insurances you can get, but the key is that I don't, I have not found another one of those insurances that actually covers the promoter for liability. And that's right. what you want as a promoter. I mean, you, right. it's not because the riders are going to sue you. It's because the riders may have an accident and the hospital yeah. may sue you, may come after you, or, the, or another insurance company may come after you for subrogation. So, right. and then the other thing is just to make sure you really focused on the after party and you made that, you made the buzz of it. Now, here's the thing about that. We did for the Overland the first time this last year where you have to buy your own food. And I was fretting about that. I was like, the riders are gonna be angry because it usually you always include the food. But I'll tell you, right. it makes the event sustainable. And right. I've, I have had a $75 entry fee every single year and I, I most likely will next year unless there's some other, other um, unexpected expense. Keeps the entry fees lower, keeps them reasonable. But it also makes it so the riders don't have this expectation like they have to go and they have to eat the food because they have to get their value. Riders can choose what food they want. And that's that's really that's the basic thing is keep it simple, keep it keep it sustainable. Always be thinking when you add something, can I do this for a period of years? Can I do this for 10 years? And, and the answer to yes. But you also always have to ask yourself as a promoter and, and, and as a cycling enthusiast and as a gravel a lover of gravel riding, would I buy this product? And if the answer to that is ever even a question, don't do it. It's always gonna be an overwhelming yes. Yes.
Yeah. 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 Yeah.